welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've had one of these days and what I'm referring to is one of those days where there are no obligations, nothing that's due, nowhere to go, and no reason to really leave the house. So I woke up this morning, I got myself together, I was able to move slow, I tried my best not to engage in as much conversation. I probably spoke to my mom and maybe one of my cousins and I also talked to my boyfriend for a little bit, but for the most part, I really tried to be to myself because it's very rare that I get these days where I not only I can move slow throughout the whole day, but I also get to spend time with myself. And that's something that's very important for me because I exert so much energy throughout the week and I'm talking all day long and all week long and it's nice to just turn my voice off for a while. Just sit in the silence of my studio, enjoy the sunlight coming through. Today is a cold day so I had my heater on. Halfway through, I turned the heater off and actually opened the window and it felt really good. Made me a smoothie. This is my favorite smoothie. It's one that's just really light. I just do spinach, banana, frozen mango, fresh pineapple, and I top it off with coconut water. And so today, I just wanted to do all the things that felt good, especially because Today is a very difficult day for me emotionally and mentally because a very close person in my life passed away uh, about a year coming up on Tuesday and today is actually her birthday and I woke up and thought about her and just thought about grief because grief has been a theme in my life over the last couple of years with losing my father, my grandmother, and my cousin most recently, and some other personal losses. And I'm right now I'm navigating grief, trying to figure out how I can allow grief to live with me and not fight it. You know, grief can be one of those things that feel paralyzing and sometimes it almost feels like we lose our breath when we think about it but this morning instead of doing the things that caused me to withdraw and disengage I actually engaged and I did the things that helped to fill me up I watched a couple of documentaries I did some things around the house worked on some projects things that helped me to feel good and the theme of today, y'all, was that I felt my emotions. I didn't run from them. I didn't hide them. I didn't hop on the phone and talk. I didn't get in the car and go somewhere to distract myself. I stayed in it. And I also continued to do things that felt good. And throughout the day, I had a couple of tears and uh, I got upset. I laughed. <laughs> Uh, there were just so many different emotions, but the beauty of being able to spend time with yourself in solitude is that you really get to know yourself. You get to know your strengths, your weaknesses. You get to know what feels hard. You get to know what your fears are, and you find ways to connect with yourself on a deeper level without distractions of friends, family, work, and other obligations. So today was a really productive day for me because I sat with my grief, but I also got a lot done for myself. And like I mentioned, my days are usually extremely busy. So being able to do this felt like success. Sometimes I think about success and what it truly is. And I've reached a lot of my goals that I've set and I'm literally sitting in the space that I prayed to be in years ago. And 
it feels amazing to be where I am today and I'm so grateful to God to be here. And I also think about all the things that have kept me busy and away from my emotions and the time with myself. So this is a pause. Yeah, this is what a pause looks like. And in order for me to continue being the woman that I am, the business owner that I am, the girlfriend that I am, the daughter that I am, and just the member of my community that I am, I have to make sure that I am pouring into myself more than I'm pouring out. Because when you think about it, when we overgive, that's when we reach burnout and fatigue. And I've been there, done that, <laughs> and it doesn't feel good. So this is the new me. The new me is pouring into myself more than I pour out. And it feels amazing. Taking time to do the small things all day today felt like success. Being able to enjoy my chocolate cake and lick my fingers and make a mess. And to be home all day and enjoy my own company with nowhere to go, no one that I have to see, no one that I have to talk to, no due dates, no timelines, just me. Just me being exactly where I am. Y'all, this is luxury. Mm. And the thought of being able to curl up in the bed with a really good book and my favorite cup of tea just reminds me how all the small things that we do for ourselves throughout the day add up to the bigger things. And so often we're focused on the bigger things and that's why it feels overwhelming. But when you peel the bigger things apart and focus on the smaller things, that's where the joy is. That's where the peace is. That's where we find ease and flow. And I love this for us. More of this, please. 